Hello, my name is Roman Mironov, and in this video I will show you how to translate Trader Studio files in OmegaT easily. OmegaT provides two filters that can be used to translate XLIF files. And they are the native one called just XLIF and the one provided by the Acopy plugin, which is called XLIF files Acopy. And this video is about using this very filter because it provides the easiest way to translate SDLXLIF files in Omega T. I have here an SDLXLIF file, a sample one that I opened in SDL Trader Studio. And this is basically an empty file with two segments pre-translated. My first step is to put this file into the source subfolder of my Omega-T project. Here it is. The next step is opening this project with Omega-T. Next I go to Project Properties and make sure that the XLIF files a copy filter is selected. Omega-T will highlight the active filter for you. So it is checked whereas the, the native one is unchecked. And in the same window, I want to ensure that this checkbox, Enable Sentence Level Segmenting, is also unchecked. In fact, you can leave it checked, but I suggest that you do this only if you really know what you're doing. Okay, I close this window. Let's reopen the project. And as you see, all the segments that need translation display in Omega-T correctly, including the two pre-translated segments that display with translation. Let's translate a few segments by imitating real translation. Okay, so I translated the three first segments. And let's imagine that I translated the entire file, and my next step would be to create the translated document. Omega-T saves it to the target files subfolder of the project. Here it is. I opened the translated SDLX Flip file in SDL Trader Studio to make sure everything is correct and as expected I see the tra my translation of the first three segments appear in the file correctly. Omega-T also inserted the source text for those segments that I left untranslated and those that were translated have the original translation. This is the basic process to go about translating SDLXLIF files with the a copy filter in Omega-T. And uh, what, what I just did is actually a round trip. By round trip I mean translating just a few segments and checking the file in SDL Trader Studio to make sure everything goes correctly. It's always a good idea to do this kind of round trip because you don't want to end up translating a large project and then finding out that it doesn't open in Trader Studio. That's about it. Thank you very much for watching. And um, if this channel helped you in some way, please help it in return. You can keep it going by taking any of the simple actions, including liking this video, subscribing, sharing a link to the blog post this video is attached to, or leaving a comment.